Hey, welcome back. My name is Al, and like the title suggests, I am going to sculpt a very, very terrible Hellboy. So stick around to the end. You'll see this atrocity, and we'll talk about why I even put this on my YouTube channel. All right, so I'm in Core Mini. This is another lunch sculpt. This is like number 10 or something. That's awesome. And I'm starting with a large brush size, and I'm just going to move down the chin. So this whole sculpt, instead of 30 minutes, this one took... 20 minutes. So I get a lot accomplished in these 20 minutes and it's been sped up to about half speed here, but found some really great concept art on ArtStation that was released a couple days ago. And it had a very interesting nose. The most prominent feature of this fan art was the nose. So I just, I loved it, loved the style. So you can see I got the horns in there using clay buildup and it had this, I don't know what that ridge on the nose is called. Very prominent ridge on the nose. So you could tell by the beamed shaped head and jaw that I didn't really put forth much effort into getting those primary head uh, proportions down at all, but that's okay. So using clay buildup, I pulled out that ear, rotated my camera a little bit just so the ears are not uh, straight, coming straight out of the head, but more at an angle. Using clay buildup, just got that basic ear shape in, pretty easy, nothing crazy about that. Using the move brush push things back. So in Core Mini, the move brush is really, really great, especially if you're trying to move large areas like the ear and you don't want to screw up your detail. Not that the ear was super detailed to begin with, but if I tried to do that with a large snake hook, because Sculptress Pro is turned on by default, in Core Mini, it's going to just, it would have ruined my ear. It would have destroyed my ear like Mike Tyson, okay? So working on this lower jaw and this lip, you know, kind of this uh, underbite, happening there is very prominent in the concept art. Um, so it's feeling okay. Things are going all right. Always rotate around. This was a speed sculpt, like I said, literally only had 20 minutes. Um, so it's super, super rough. Like those cheekbones way back by the ear. So my cheekbones are way here. If I push in my fat, I can feel it. And then my ears back here. But in my sculpt, there's no gap at all. So right away, that's really, really bad. I'm um, getting the folds under the skin using the slash brush in Core Mini. I uh, said it once, I'll say it again. It is not like the damn standard brush and ZBrush. I definitely prefer that to the slash brush. Come on, Pixelogic, why can't we have the damn standard brush in Core Mini? Ah, uh, holding shift anytime I need to smooth out these forms. Looking okay, at least I'm getting somewhere. Going to do some slashes on these horns. You can see I'm still in uh, symmetry, so I'm working symmetrically, which I should have saved those little gashes, those little cuts in the horns for later. But you know, it's it kind of resembles Hellboy right now. I wanted some smile lines, but really, it's like cutting through that chunk. If you look at my mouth here, this line, I know it's hard, I've got a mustache. This line doesn't necessarily cut through this chunk like that. So yeah, there's another mistake. It's just riddled with mistakes. But I really wanted to put this in here and challenge you if you are YouTuber, if you're trying to be successful on YouTube, not that I'm successful or ever will be successful. But if you are an artist, you create sculpts, I challenge you to put your crap out there too. So not just your finely tuned works of art, I wanted to share uh, a piece that I did in 20 minutes that really didn't turn out. I hate this overall. You'll see that it just didn't turn out. I rushed it. It was 20 minutes, but I hate it, but that's okay. That's, that's beside the point. I took my time, however much or little, I put it out there and just get your work out. I'm not saying that you should just always produce garbage. But I'm saying for me personally on this YouTube channel, there will be times when I put out garbage and that's just how it is. But I think that's helpful because some of these awesome, awesome artists, you literally only see the good, finely polished sculpts. I guarantee you that they screw up too and they they might work really, really hard on a sculpt. It just isn't working. Um, and the general public, we would just never see it. And that's okay too. But that's just kind of how creating art works um from time to time you know you can't have a masterpiece every single time one thing that worked really well for me in this sculpt although the peanut head everything else i hate nose was really quick and it's kind of cool i don't hate the nose 
Um, the beard here, it worked really well for the amount of time I had for it. So up close, it looks pretty darn rough, but I'm literally just using the slash brush, holding alt for those peaks, and then just using it normally for those valleys. Just get the illusion that maybe there's some hair there. This isn't perfect. It's honestly very, very rough. But like I said, for the few minutes that I spent on it, did the job just fine. I later go in, use snake hook, push, pull, just kind of breaking up the silhouette a little bit uh, because it was, it just wasn't good enough. But pulling out some of those strands of hair using those original slash marks as kind of a guide, pulling out different clumps, and then I'll come back with that slash brush, hold alt to hit the high points, and then just normal slash brush, do those those low points in, uh, you know, the kind of the individual strands of hair. The things are working okay. The other reason why I wanted to post this, if you're still watching, was that I'm going to make another video and hopefully make a few tweaks to make it even, well, not make it better. It will make it better, but I'm going to make a few tweaks um, in a later video and just see how quickly I can maybe salvage this sculpt. Maybe not, maybe totally trash it. But just some things that with more time I could have uh, could have made happen with this sculpt. And that's the important thing. If you just make crap and then you don't know why it's crappy or what's wrong with it, um, that's that's a problem. But if you're able to see like, oh gosh, that was really bad. That's a good thing, right? I know what I rushed. I rushed the very start of this. The basic shapes of the head, those basic forms are not present in this sculpt at all. And it sucks because of it. But I learned some things and the hair turned out decent for core mini and decent for the amount of time I spent on it. I hope you enjoy the rest of this time lapse. If you haven't yet, you felt like I earned it. Hey, you should subscribe. I try to do at least one of these uh, speed sculpts a week, depending upon time. Uh, I'm a teacher, so I'm wrapping up school. So things are kind of busy these days. Uh, but I will get you videos when I can. Thank you so much for the support. Let me know in the comments below how terrible this sculpt is. Please do it. I will see you next time.